In this video, we will review a few of my favorite new features in 2025 Altair SimLab. With the release of 2025 SimLab, there have been a number of great geometry improvements. Let's first start with the Stitch tool, which has been improved in 2025. Now users can stitch broken sheets into one sheet body. The Stitch tool is found under the Geometry menu, and its purpose is to stitch multiple sheet bodies into one sheet body. This is useful because sometimes sheet bodies will import with weird translation issues where sheets may be broken. Users can now resolve everything in SimLab without having to go back to their perspective CAD tool. The stitch surfaces also do not have to be uniform and can be considerably jagged like the part you see on the screen. This stitch tool will save users tons of time when unexpected CAD import issues may occur. My next favorite geometry update is the imprint tool. Faces can now be imprinted onto other faces without having to go back to a CAD tool to do this. Again, this saves users time from re-importing and updating in their CAD tool to adjust geometry, as this can all be done in SimLab now. In this case, a small gasket face is being imprinted on the block so that mesh density can be controlled even better between that shared contact face. With both of these geometry updates, users can now work more effectively in SimLab. One of the great new features in 2025 SimLab is the mesher has been greatly improved. In both structural and fluid analysis, the meshing algorithm has been improved. However, there has been a major update with the CFD-based mesher. Let's take a look at meshing apart with the old CFD mesher in SimLab 2024, and then we'll mesh it in 2025. With SimLab 2024, it takes us just over two minutes to mesh this part. Now let's jump to SimLab 2025. We can turn on the new ASML boundary layer mesher in the preferences menu and begin meshing our model. We will use the same exact density settings, and for this model, it will mesh in about half the time at one minute. Note, the density and overall size of the mesh is the same as in 2024, but it's done in half the time. SimLab 2025 will help users set up and solve their models even quicker with the new meshing updates. Let's now go over some of the interface updates in SimLab 2025. Users can now duplicate parts without having to re-import another CAD file. Duplicated parts can be part of existing studies or brand new studies. This feature is for parasolid CAD parts and is particularly useful for model preparation tasks like submodeling. Another great interface update is the ability to tag notes to a variety of objects in SimLab. In our case, I'm going to tag a note to the CAD object to indicate to a user this part is for submodeling. Notes can be visualized by hovering over the note in the column or right mouse button clicking and selecting the note. One of the other big interface changes in 2025 is the bottom toolbar has been completely revamped. Results can now be easily turned on by just clicking on the result graph. Additionally, boundary conditions, like constraints or loads, can also be turned on by a mouse click. A mesh visibility bar has been added, which allows users to turn on mesh or orphan nodes easily. Note, this bar matches the graphical mesh visibility bar of HyperMesh for easy continuity. Additionally, CAD visibility can be easily changed with the updated toolbar. Wireframe views or fully shaded views can be added. These interface updates will make navigating SimLab even easier for users in 2025. In 2025, the post-processing and solutions output have been improved. With 2025, users can now turn on real-time monitoring of results. This is particularly handy during nonlinear or dynamic scenarios. Users just need to make sure the real-time monitoring settings are turned on from the result request settings. While an analysis is running, 
Users can right-click on results and hit Diagnosed Results, which will show the real-time result of the solution. One of my other favorite features is Transparency can now be turned on for contour plots. Parts can be transparent while still retaining the contour plot's original shape and feel. One of the final things I like is the ability to scale legends now on any value, not just the min-max value. So in my case, if I click in the middle and type in a value, it will automatically scale my legend for me. These features will make post-processing even more streamlined with 2025 SimLab. The features in this video are just some of my favorite new features in 2025 SimLab. I encourage you all to try out 2025 SimLab today to look at all the new features. To learn more about SimLab or other Altair products, go to www.trueinsight.io.